In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the third letter of St. John. My friend, you have done faithful work in looking after these brothers, even though they were complete strangers to you. They are a proof to the whole church of your charity, and it would be a very good thing if you could help them on the journey in a way that God would approve. It was entirely for the sake of the name that they set out, without depending on the pagans for anything. It is our duty to welcome men of this sort and contribute our share to the work for the truth. The Word of the Lord Happy the man who takes delight in the commands of the Lord. Happy the man who fears the Lord, who takes delight in all his commands. His sons will be powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. Happy the man who takes delight in the commands of the Lord. Riches and wealth are in his house. His justice stands firm forever. He is a light in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful, and just. Happy the man who takes delight in the commands of the Lord. The good man takes pity and lends. He conducts his affairs with honour. The just man will never waver. He will be remembered forever. Happy the man who takes delight in the commands of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Accept and submit to the word which has been planted in you and can save your souls. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the need to pray continually and never lose heart. There was a judge in a certain town, he said, who had neither fear of God nor respect for men. In the same town, there was a widow who kept on coming to him and saying, I want justice from you against my enemy. For a long time he refused, but at last he said to himself, Maybe I have neither fear of God nor respect for men, but since she keeps pestering me, I must give this widow her just rights or she will persist in coming and worry me to death. And the Lord said, You notice what the unjust judge has to say? Now, will not God see justice done to his chosen who cry to him day and night, even when he delays to help them? I promise you, he will see justice done to them and done speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find any faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, the two themes that speak to me from today's reading are firstly, pray always without becoming weary, And secondly, justice. In 
today's gospel, the widow persists in her pursuits of justice with the crooked judge. This is a tough widow and she eventually wears down the worldly judge who render a just decision. Luke connects this parable with the theme of perseverance in prayer. Prayer always without becoming weary. But the parable is also clearly about the striving towards justice. We often pray for justice. But how often do we see our pursuit of justice as prayer? When we are truly convinced and believe that injustice must be addressed, no matter how difficult it is, then we will persist in our pursuit of justice. And this conviction comes from God. There are many challenges to justice in today's world. As Christians, God calls each of us to work for peace and justice, to hear the cry of the poor, to love the most vulnerable in our society, and to care for the environment. This may manifest itself differently in each person, and each of us need to discern how and where God is calling us. Only then does our work for love, peace and justice become a prayer as we discover our calling. God's calling ignites the fire within our hearts, deepening our calling so we pray always without becoming weary. God gives us the energy to pursue justice with persistence like the widow. And so with confidence, we offer up all our petitions and prayers to God in the word Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your Spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.